everyone? How's everyone doing? It's me, back in another video. And, um, yeah, I'm back today. Yeah, of course. It's been a while since I actually haven't updated a new video. Um, well, it's been, like, probably two months or a month ago. I'm not really sure, but it's been probably about, like, one to two months ago since I uploaded a video. Anyway, today we have with us... Finally, the Can't Catch Harry game. I have been waiting for this since February because I've been talking about it like almost all the time. Yeah. <laughs> because Odd Ones Out, you are my. I, I love you, dude. You are so cool. I love this. I love the game that you made. It is so cool. Uh, please shout me out in one of your videos. Um. Sorry, I do not have some Odd Ones Out merch. I will make sure to do that. Anyway, I have the book. Now I actually have this. Finally. Also, I did actually get... Instead of actually getting just the expansion pack and the game separate, I actually got... Bah, 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 the bundle. I got the bundle. Yeah. So I asked my grandma for the bundle, which on his website, on your website of the Odd Ones Out, um... Well, it's 35 bucks, but for both of them separate, this one is 25 and this one is 15 bucks. Yeah, so I don't know how that actually makes 35, that pretty much makes 40, but it's all fine. But since of the coronavirus right now, I'm sad. It's sad with the coronavirus because a lot of people are getting affected by it, and it's really stupid, you know? Like, I, I can't believe you can still go on after these all these years about just saying well this is still happening the the tube con or whatever it is vidcon is still happening um i made seven entries on that by the way instead of actually doing all of them because i can't have facebook i cannot have twitter um i can only have instagram yeah but instagram's fine you know instagram's fine so, first off, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the expansion pack. Then I'm going to un unbox this bad boy. But it's not really, like, big. It's, like, small. But it is taller than my head, you know. It's wider than my head. So, let's unbox this little guy. This little guy right here. So, this is actually called White Trash Butterflies. Now, this is kind of like action cards or round cards. Now, round cards actually is pretty much just, like, each round of... This game, how many rounds you play, how many rounds, how many cards you draw. Yeah, so since, I think since I got the bundle, I think I, I slide that too fast. Since I got the bundle, I think I get a few extra cards in here. I'm not really sure about that, but let's just go ahead and do that. So it comes with a little booklet showing all the, um, all the cards that you get, except for about... Five, because actually I, I looked at it earlier and you actually get five extra cards instead of what the booklet says. And all of these are for the characters of the game. So why don't I just, I'll do this. It's a lot easier. There you go. So there are 50, um, I think 56 cards in here. I'm not really sure about it. Um, but these are all character cards as you can see they're pretty much the same color as you know the character cards but a little bit more of a different color but kind of the same color anyway so what you actually get with the character cards is the riddler sorry it's just taking me a while a little bit uh a dad They can face them. Yeah. Cats. Monsters. And Stranger. Which actually was one in one of his episodes was the Stranger card. So what happened was he got an anonymous call from a stranger. And what happened was he picked up the phone so I was a stranger, and pretty much, you know, it's some random guy. Some random girl, woman, or man, I'm not really sure. Anyway, but...
but you get more cards which you can actually get hidden moths right here which is actually for um hidden moths sorry you guys can read it for yourself but i'm going to read right here hide moths in another room this round so in this round you would actually hide it in like another room or something like that uh so i'm going to put it in the back here this one is called turn up the heat which there's only which is only one card of these so i'm going to read it right here uh turn up the heat devil cards are worth two extra points this round which pretty much devil cards are supposed to be negative one points but now they pretty much cost about like one point <laughs> mm -hmm. negative one plus two equals just one point you know and then we have mad moths which is harry the moth cards subtract one point this round not bad really but these cards are supposed to be more challenging and, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, there's also an altogether card, which is one. There's only one other of those cards. Uh, you need an everyone card to win this round. Ooh, that's challenging right there. That's tough. All right. And then you actually have dumpster dive is discard and draw cards from center pile. So pretty much that's what it means. There's also Double Trouble. Double Trouble. You need two sets of characters to win. Start the round with eight cards. Well, those are two. Uh, it's, it's, when it's, after it says win, it's an explanation point. And then it says start the round with eight cards. That is, that's a sentence. So then you actually have Furries, which I guess everybody is common with Furries because they're popular, I guess. I'm not really sure. I'm not a furry. I don't really like furries that much because they're kind of weird, but hmm. don't judge people. It Don't just, don't judge. It's just, people can be whoever they want to be, okay? So furries. Furry and fox cards are worth one extra point this round. Okay. I mean, I don't even know how you, the odd ones out, would actually like furries. I never seen furries in one of your episodes except for... Um, the Monsters episode. I've only heard about furries that time in your episodes. That's all I've heard about that. Uh, snatched. Snatched. Draw and discard two cards every, every this round. Uh, cards every, every this round. That, that, that makes no sense. I don't get it. Uh, one-handed. One-handed. You can only use one hand to play this round. Did I actually show you that correctly? Yeah, I probably did or didn't. I'm not really sure. There is a all or nothing card. All or nothing. This round's winner gets five extra points. Not bad. Um, there's only one of these cards too. A sad day for moths. Uh, all moths, moth figures, figurines are worth one less point. And then there's, of course, you would actually get this card after you get the sad one. Happy day for moths. Yay. Each moth figurine is worth three extra points this round. Yeah. That doesn't sound bad, right? Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. And there's this lights out. Uh, lamp cards are worth one extra point this round. Not bad. Now, I know I'm reading every single card, but I just want to so you you guys can know. Um, there's also the Zapper. Lamp cards subtract three points this round. Reasonable. Because they're, they are actually negative one points anyway, I think. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not really sure yet. Um... Who's keeping score? This round's winner exchanges points with anyone who they choose. Wow. <laughs> and then there's the mom and dad, and they're so angry at that. <laughs> All right, here's lunchtime. Sandwich artist cards are worth two extra points this round. 
Yeah. I don't even know why I did that. Pop quiz. Teacher and Mr. Poe cards are worth one extra point this round. Now, when I first heard of these cards, I thought you would just have to, you know, do a pop quiz on the odd ones out. But I guess not. Uh, it's raining. You know, you know that song, kids. It's raining tacos, okay? But we're not talking about that type of rain. Uh, it's raining. Everyone puts water in their mouth this round. Spitting or swallowing subtracts one point. So, I'm guessing that is a laugh type of thing or whatever. Uh, there's also the gathering. Uh, collect four cards and then pass four cards. Start with eight cards. Okay. Not bad. And I think, I'm pretty sure this is the last card. Yeah, it is. Alright. And then we got Crystal Moth, boy. Uh, pass your cards to anyone you choose this round. Okay. So it's not bad. Anyway, so those are all the cards. So, yeah. Those are all the cards. Um, on the inside... Hold on. I put these in wrong. Oops. I'm gonna put them in like this. Um, look at the lid. It's, it's the little... <laughs> Harry. It's Harry the Moth. I love that. I love that feature, though. Also put the booklet in here. My family hasn't played this game yet. So, yeah. Now let's get on to the bad boy. Yeah. So this is how you open it. So there's a flap right here. And what you think is that you push this and then you pull it like from out this side or this side or something like that. Um, but actually, magnets. Yeah, magnets. Magnets. Anyway, so here are the instructions which I'll read to you later after I um, show you everything that's in here. Look at all this stuff. Oh. So first off, I'm going to show you the cards because there's a lot of cards in here. So, yeah. So you have Baby James. You have, well, of course you would have a James. I don't even know why I said it like that. Um, you have Fox. Evil Bird. Furry. Harry. Those both rhyme. I didn't notice it before. Actually, I did. That was a joke. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, arrange my feet. Yeah. Uh, twin. Hunters. Of course, you cannot actually not get. Of course, you would... That was that was wrong wording. I meant to say, of course you would get mom because you know his mom hated Harry. Of course, since there's a dad, there has to be a mom. So yeah, um, Mr. Poe, police, sandwich artist, which uh, of course. Uh, the Odd Ones Out calls it Sue and Witch Artist, which I think I'll, I'll call it that for now on or something like that. Um, Devil? Why is Harry there with him? Because isn't he, like, you know, somewhere else than where Harry isn't? That's kind of interesting. Oh, that's so weird. I just saw that Harry's, like, saying, oh my gosh, he's on fire. It's a glowing ball of heat. Because, you know, they love light bulbs because light bulb mm -hmm. um sorry for vr people if you people can watch this as a vr if you watch like some video in vr before this video pretty much you can watch this in vr too uh you also have teacher which homework is of course is going to be that um and then you have lamp well, of course, 
you would actually get a everyone card. Which actually, if you use this and you have like, I don't know, like three James. If you have three James, you can use the everyone card. You just have to have three James and like a one everyone card. And if you have that, pretty much you still win. So, in here, in the rest of it, you actually come with Harry the Moth. You come with two Cray Crays. I think these are Cray Crays. I'm not really sure. And the third thing you get are two Chubs. You also get something else. You get one lamp. One lamp. So... A lamp costs negative one point. A uh, Harry costs three points. Cray Cray's cost um, three points. I mean, two points. Two points. <coughs> That's what I meant. Um, and Chubbs cost one point. Mm -hmm. Also, what you get is... Uh, bum, 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 bum. You get a playing mat. Which actually, this is what you play with. A playing mat. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And that just fits snug in there. Snug. Really snug. It actually fits in there perfectly well, which is nice. So, now on to the instructions. I just noticed I, I put it upside down. Yeah. This instruction booklet's kind of long. So, yep. Uh... So, 58 card deck. There's 58. I could have read off the names here instead of actually just looking through the deck. But I looked at, looked through the deck. Mm -hmm. So, you can also see the figurines here as well. Mm -hmm. And also extras. We don't need to read those. Of course, we don't need to. Anyway, setup. Uh, for two players, place the lamp and Harry figurines on the game mat. For every additional player, you will need to add an additional figurine to the game mat. Okay, so that's why they come with six characters. So if you have six people, yeah. Uh, make sure everyone can reach, move around, shove, kick, or jump to get to the mo moths. Uh, deal everyone a hand of four cards. Place the rest of the cards face down in a deck next to the youngest player. Yeah, to the youngest player. Uh, two deck variant. Split the deck in two even halves. Place one next to the youngest player and, and one next to the player directly across from them. I don't know if that's a rule, but... Uh, how to play. Try to get four of a kind. That's how you play. <laughs> Uh, the youngest player draws a card, then passes a card to the left. The next player then passes any card to the left. And so on and so on until one player has four of a kind in their hand. I am covering my mouth, mouth with this thing. Just notice that. Uh, keep drawing, keep passing. The game is meant to be fast and frantic. So keep those cards moving. I just noticed this is like 18 minutes long. Uh, it's on now. Follow these rules. You can't hold more than five cards at a time. Pass cards one at a time. And once you have four of a kind, it's time to catch Harry. <laughs> well, I mean, it says it says it right here. It like yells it. You know, it like yells catch Harry. Of course, uh, once one player grabs a moth, everyone needs to grab a moth. Even if you don't have four of a kind, be quick or else you'll be left with the negative one point lamp. Oh no, negative one point lamp of misery. Yeah, oh yeah. So scoring, after everyone has a moth, tally up their scores. Remember, you can have a negative score. Negative one point for lamp, one point for chubs, two points for... Cray cray. Three points for Harry and three points for Harry cards. Yeah. Uh, devil cards. Each devil card in your hand is worth negative one point unless you have four devil cards. You 
You lose no points, and everyone else resets to zero points. Ooh. That, though. That's weird. I kind of like that, because it's kind of interesting and also challenging at the same time. I'm going to close this right now, because it's kind of bothering my feet. Anyway, let's go on. When you grab four devil cards, it acts just like if you had four of any other card. Everyone grabs four moss at the end of this turn. You will have zero points, just like everyone else, plus however many points the moth is worth. For example, if you lay down four devil cards and grab the hairy moth, you would have, have two points at the end of your turn. Everyone cards. Everyone cards can be used to complete any set, but they are worth negative one point if you don't end up with Harry at the end of the round. Ooh. Ultimate twist. <coughs> Sorry. Winning. If someone has exactly 11 points, congratulations, you won. We are. If someone has gone over 11 points, that player doesn't score any points this round. Any points this round. If you were. Sorry. If you. Oh, God. <laughs> If you were at 10 points but grabbed the 2-point moth, your score for this round would remain at 10 points. If no one has reached 11 points exactly, then pass the deck to the left and play another round. And here are the credits. So I don't want to read this to you guys because I've been reading way too much. So you guys can pause this video just to actually um, look, uh, read it. Okay. Hopefully you guys saw that. I hit the, my freaking phone with this. Anyway, um, so it's for two to six players, uh, 10 to 20 minutes to finish, and it's ages six and up. That's what it is. So yeah, thank you so much for watching me unbox you can't catch Harry game and its expansion pack. Of course, you would actually try to learn what this is, but you don't want to learn what this is until you actually get the game. You need to get the game first, then learn what it is, and then learn what that is. You should um, get the learn how to play this game first, then actually learn how to play this game first. And then, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe. Comment down below if you actually want to see me show you how to play this game, actually. So, yeah. Bye, guys.